Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to the very first exciting episode of Hints, Tips, and Tricks for Hearts of Iron 4. I am Bridger from the Sound Strategy Network and Legacy Gaming, and today we are going to take a look at hotkeys for Hearts of Iron 4. But wait, didn't I already do a video about hotkeys? I did, but settle down, today we've got something different. So, we talked about the hotkeys Q, W, E, R, T, Y, U, and I, that across the top of the screen here, the top of your keyboard, they let you very quickly and easily switch to these different menus, which is great. And then Z, X, C, and V are used for these various options here at the bottom of the screen when you're building your battle plans, but... Moving the map around is sort of a standard thing. You move to the edge of the, the map and it scrolls at a specific speed. Uh, and you can also click with the middle mouse to grab the terrain and pull your way around the map. That's also not bad. But a lot of people, myself included, really do like WASD mouse movement. And there is no WASD mouse movement built into the game. If you go into the options, there's no control remapping, so you don't have the option to use WASD. You could use the, the, the keyboard arrow keys. They do allow you to move with them like they were WASD keys, but then your hand is so far away from all the other hotkeys, you might as well not even be using them. So, obviously that's not a solution. Enter a program called Auto Hotkey. This is a program that allows you to rebind keys so that they actually do other things. So your W key could be instead typing an O character, or your backspace key could type a Y. You can do all kinds of things with it, and this is the example that I'm using here. This is a script that I have set up within Auto Hotkey. You can find both this script as well as the link to the actual program in the description. This is a program that is used by many gamers the world over. It's an open source, very clean program as long as you get it from their main website. Uh, so don't worry about viruses or anything like that. So what this allows me to do is it's rebinding W to up, A to left, S to down, and D to right. And then it also rebinds my tilde key to actually do the, the same equivalent of S, and it rebinds my punctuation, my, my apostrophe key, to do the same function as W. And I'll show you exactly why that is right now. So, uh, if we go back into the game here, now the last piece of this, pause, causes it to suspend. That allows me to turn on and off this script. So now I'm going to turn it back on, and now when I hit W, it goes up instead of uh, actually opening up the research. If I hit pause and hit W again, now W and S keys work the way that they normally would. So let me turn the hotkeys back on. I can use WASD to move all around. If I wanted to split my troops, instead of hitting the S, I hit tilde, because in the game that's, that's how I set it up. And then if I wanted to open up my research, I hit a mouse button that I have bound to the apostrophe which auto hotkey then turns into a W. So for me, this is a much more valuable setup so that I can easily scroll around the map with the WASD, but still have access to both the incredibly value, valuable split button and the incredibly valuable jump to research and look through here. So I really enjoy that. And of course, I'm sure there's tons of people that just want to rebind their keys and have some other way of doing it besides the way that I have set up here. You can read through more information about Auto Hotkey on that website. They have extensive documentation about how to use the program. It can even do macros like push this button, then wait five seconds, then push this other button if you really wanted to get into it. But just this simple way has really helped uh, me set this up. And I know some other people were also asking for WASD movement. So there you go. Thanks, guys, for watching. We'll have a lot more of these as we delve deeper into the mechanics of the game that is Hearts of Iron 4. Have a good one.